Hey, it's Tanya, and I'm here with the July Citrus Twist Kits, and I've been having a blast with them, and I wanted to do something a little bit different, so I went with a sort of funky kind of shape, and I hate cutting with scissors because I can't cut a straight line, so that's why I was trying the impossible there with my trimmer, and it wasn't working, so I had to give up and get the scissors anyway. Yes, these moments of brilliance of mine. <laughs> So I like the shape that I've got going on. It's, it's, I don't even know what kind of shape it is, but I like it. And then I went and got all the words that I have left out of the embellishment packs that I had. And I thought I will incorporate them into my title. So in the end, I go with, hey girlfriend, I really love your smile because I do. And yes, of course I go around saying, hey girlfriend to my daughter. <laughs> not but I had the words there and I figured they look nice they're gold and sparkly and pretty and the f scripty font is nice so I ran with it and that's pretty much what I do with oh I was looking for my scissors pretty much what I do with most of my titles especially when I incorporate words that come in the kits I just make them work and I like how it came out in the end although I do take away those blue letter stickers because they're to my eye it didn't look like it went so now I'm just trying to see how I'm going to arrange my nice title and so I move it around a bit and because I knew I wanted the photograph at the bottom left because of the way she's facing but I'm not really happy and then I think oh I know what I can do I can put the smile on the actual photograph because I was thinking okay let me concentrate all of my embellishments etc down in the in that wonky shape that I cut out so that was the reasoning behind that and now you can see that I'm not liking the blue so I carry on a bit more with those mini market letter stickers which did not come in the kit I have several of them, thank goodness, because I ran out of uh, R's on the one, so I had to go and find another sheet. I'm starting to think, oh, <laughs> that's a recurring theme, my ATG gun that likes to slide slowly onto my desk. It's because I place it on my trimmer, you know, again, not very bright. I was saying about the letter stickers, I'm starting to think that whenever I, whenever I buy some I think I'm going to need to buy two two packs each time because because you run out of letters so quickly and I don't know what on earth I was doing up here I went on some sort of triangle weirdness yes it was very odd and then I thought okay I like the idea of having a cluster up in the top left but maybe I can incorporate some of the paper but I couldn't I couldn't get a shape or a triangle that worked. So I abandoned that idea completely and think okay let me concentrate now on bringing up some embellishments around my photograph. Oh and then I do I do go back but now now I'm doing an embellishment cluster up there and I actually I actually quite like that. It says wonderful and you're a 10 which of course she is. Not that I will say that too often to her she has the self-esteem of I, I don't know where she gets it from but she has the most amazing self-esteem so I don't really need to boost it all that much <laughs> she thinks she's wonderful <laughs> mind you having said that I often think to myself I'm wonderful too <laughs> so maybe that's where she gets it from <laughs> <laughs> I'm only half joking there. Right, so then I finally decided to put the heart on the right hand side and I tiny attached the ampersand because otherwise it kind of looked like it was floating around in the middle of nowhere. And I've got an embellishment cluster going on at the bottom there with an arrow and an ampersand which I realise is wonky the way I've done it. Oh no, I, I corrected it. I had it originally wonky and then I put it the right way around. And I'm thinking I need to anchor that cluster at the top there but I wasn't too sure how yet and I'm bringing in a few circular embellishments in the greenish color because I'm tying that in with the hay because the hay is green so I'm thinking okay but then I go with black so I'm I'm now tying in black in three places and I have the arrows 
I only have two black arrows, but that's fine because I've got a grey arrow and that also helps tie in with the ampersand at the top. So yes, lots of thought process going on here. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't think too hard about things. I kind of, I'm one of those instinctual scrappers. Yeah. And so I thought that looked quite nice. Originally my idea was I was going to draw black around the my main shape there but then I thought hang on let me try and add in a bit more of the grey with the back of that paper so I just trimmed up a couple of thin strips and did that and now I've got a couple of hearts going hearts what am I talking about stars I've got a couple of stars going on and these were letter of puffy stickers. What are, what's wrong with me? These are puffy stickers that you could buy extra in the store on the Citrus Twist website. So I did really did that because I thought they looked pretty and so I'm adding in some of those as well and because I'm a little bit pedantic it had story there and I didn't it didn't quite make sense so I added the to it. So it's now the story. It just just works better with my brain. Otherwise it, it doesn't you know it doesn't sound right. And adding in a few other little stars and then I'm thinking hey let's add some more because why not one should always add more when in doubt add more <laughs> and I place that little gray one over there and then I do a little bit of final finishing touches I have that tab which came in the kit and those words that came in the extras I bought but I didn't like that because it wasn't long enough the words I can't remember what it said it was a short little phrase so then I went with a phrase that says you make me smile and that was longer so it fit on the tab better once I got it placed correctly and I do apologize for the fluttering of the sunshine oh there you see reoccurring theme <laughs> I have an issue with the sun it comes streaming in and even though it's winter here, we still have sun. So yeah, it gets a bit, a bit uh, difficult sometimes to video. But thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And we will chat again soon. Bye.